Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Dwarves. Oops. Uh, this is really going to be the last episode. It's a good game, but like, it's kind of hard to talk over just because uh, there's not like a mad amount of shit that happens. Um, though it is very good just to play by yourself. On that, I can recommend, you know? I'm actually gonna just restart this because I, I did a bad dumb oops. Yeah, hopefully now. Oh yeah, I have this that I can do. I forgot. Oh, that guy's dead. a smarter thing that I can do. Really, dog? Fuck it. When it's that early on, fuck it. It's not worth it. Yes, good. Dig in the one direction. I love my big dwarven anthill. I wonder if you could watch them make loss. Yeah, it is. Why is there always water so fucking close? Every time, you know? I don't even remember how much dynamite is. Oh my god, stop. You guys are so fucking stupid. <laughs> like, at least the dwarves in Dwarf Fortress have, like, a sanity meter. And, like, reasons for doing the dumb shit that they do. St 
stop. Why would you do this? They're so stupid. I'm losing my mind here. You thirsty boys? one and then I'm gonna go back to seeing things you know I feel like that's what I deserve oh good something good happened for once Why is there always water so goddamn close? Enough out of you. Alright. I'm gonna go with endless mode. And you know what? I'm also gonna go on easy. And I'm gonna go huge. Actually, hit this for me, fam. Oh, cool. It was nothing. I love it when that happens. Dude, you were so close to the cave. There's probably goodies in there. See? Goodies in that one. Scaring me, boys, with your little pop ups. See, this is nice. This is what I like. You know? We're not constantly under threat of flooding and or death. I need you here, Dwarfin. Treasure came good. Something nice has happened for me. I wonder if they make the lava move slower. Whoops. Didn't mean to encase that. Should I reset? Maybe. 
What? I've never seen something like that before. It's like, hey, game's crashing. Well, anyway, bye. Man. You know, this wouldn't happen if uh, the Toady one accepted the existence of a fucking mouse. I'm a little salty about it, you see. Just the idea that, like, people really be out here playing computer games without a mouse. Because that's really my main problem with Dwarf Fortress. The fact that you need to memorize 26 squared inputs to properly play the game is awful for me. Like, my wife, of course, has great interest in it on the merit that it contains dwarves. However, she's also neurodivergent. And, like, it's just difficult for her to do that. And for a game that looks like shit, it's not worth it to learn all of them. I know you can unlock other tile sets by just downloading them and putting them into your thing. But I bought this game on Steam, and I can look at it without having to do any extra bullshit. I'm aware that Dwarf Fortress is this, like, super amazing Omni game that contains everything in it. And it's not bad. This is just my problem with it. Kind of an interesting mechanic that you can just, like, have uh, guys train. That's kind of cool, you know? Ah, uh, yes, of course, but it means that we have no money. Turn it off for now. Cool. He's going to crack into this cave first. should be very hard for them to dig this block. Dude, are you serious? Go literally anywhere else. Oh, and here comes Daredevil over here.
Yes, good. That still works. Okay, cool. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, yeah, it should now be impossible for them to crack into this cave at all. But then again, they are very stupid. Can I get you to hit that, bro? Thank you. I didn't realize you got, like, it's a kind of a good thing that you get your money back for uh, cave trapping like that. It lets me pre trap these caves, you know? at anything dangerous? You are, but we'll get some time. Okay. Cool. You love to see it, you know? One of the things is that a lot of your time is spent with your hand on this side of the keyboard. And so, like, there is there is a button that you can hit to get shit over to this, to, like, get you to where you need to go. Uh, and hitting it it's the enter key, so you have to go all the way to the other side of the keyboard. And considering that everything else is hot keyed, so you can hit it with your left hand and still use the mouse. Oh. That was a misclick. All right, here's hoping you can get here in time. I don't think you will, actually. Oh yeah, I'm glad I put that there. Ah, oh, crap. Can you... dude? Got a job you need to do. This is bullshit right here.
And you know what? These rocks are just... Oh, cool. We can do that. Nito Burrito. You love to see it. get some money so let's turn on training and turn off dwarf spawning get you guys up let's turn off training because I don't want to risk hurting myself because you know what these guys are really fucking dumb That's not bad. Let's just shotgun our fellows over there. And then bring them on back. Cool. Cave trapped. This is a big cave. I don't know if I trust that. Just on its own merit, you know? This is gratifying to see, you know? And makes me wish that Dwarf Fortress was user-friendly and had mouse controls. Hey, guess what? I'm gonna bitch about that until it does. FYI. Well, cool, at least it was only a shaman. That I can deal with pretty easily. Oh, shit. Can you hit that for me, fam? Uh -huh. How about this? Oh god. Oh, this is bad. Pretty bad. 
Oh, maybe this will work. I think I can do this. This is a big ass cave with a lot of lava to trap, but I think I can do it. Now I just need a dummy. Oh my god, he's stuck. Alright, you then. Alright. Bro. That's pretty fantastic. Oh man, what a huge, what a what a problem, you know? It just bled off into all these other spots and sides. Jeez, oh Pete, you know? Every time, it's just so relaxing. When you knock open a cave and there's just nothing but goodies in there. Or even better, just plain fucking nothing. I love that. It's refreshing, it's relaxing. And I, I, I deserve it, you know? I've been good. I've been helpful to my friend and stuff. Right, let's hit this to train you guys. No, the other one, thank you. One of these is more important. You can see the appeal though, right? Okay. Like, it feels good to have your dwarves and have them do stuff. Alright. Back to the action. Am I ever gonna run out of caves? 
Jesus, look at those things. Oh my god. There's the edge of the map. And wouldn't you know what? I spawned in the dead center of it. A uh, what is what? Uh, I don't know what that means, fam. Yeah, get him, flank him. Nice. I guess we should have like these little outposts at, like the edges of the map, huh? Just an off chance we like tr find something we're not looking for. I wish there was a wider zoom, you know. Hey, we had a uh, hundred diggers. We're up to 133 dwarves total. I'm gonna encase these in with a cave. Because if the cave is fine, then they can just dig it from the inside of the cave. But if the cave is full of lava, then digging those would just spill, you know? I'm actually gonna do this as well, preemptively. Just in case. We have a little problem you're gonna solve for me. I think we should be good. We're good. Look at that. Another cave sealed. I wonder if this game would have like lore. That would be cool. Do you think the people would dig really deep in? This guy's a level 7. That's pretty high. Considering the max is 20, they're a third of the way there. Where are these at? Also at 7. Okay, cool. How do you turn these guys on? Especially because now that we're going to have a treasure cave. Oh, boys, your time has come. That's what I put you there for.
do. I should be careful not to spend all of my money by mistake. But like, I guess the longer that I play, the better, right? Because this is endless mode. You know, time attack, you know, you gotta get as much score as you can, but in this, almost more time is important. Hundred and fifty dwarves. Let's yeah, let's get things on the outskirts spawning more dwarves, huh? Because, like, we really don't need dwarves showing up in the middle here anymore. Because look at how many dwarves are just milling around here not doing anything. No, I can't turn that off. Whatever. I'll leave that on for now. I'll turn this on. Is a level two. I'll wait for them to hit level five, I think. Who's closest here? Can you guys hit it? Nope. You guys probably. Shit, that was stupid. Whistle them back. Where are these guys now? Four. Okay, cool. Actually, I could let him go further. We might need, like, crazy strong guys on the outskirts here. Because who knows how crazy shit's going to get out here. Actually, no. Let's, uh, let's stop him here. And then let's get some new shit over here. If we can. No, where is it, though? You can't do this to me. Where's the water? <laughs> Alright, follow-up problem. I hit the button to show me the water, and it just brought me to the last thing. And now hitting that button does nothing because both of the alerts have expired. Where's this fucking water? Oh, for God's sakes. That's so not cool. salvaged.
that's one. Man, they are really going everywhere but these fucking dynamites. Pop it for me. You've hit 200 dwarves as well. Keep going that way. Actually had one job. I mean, I know I didn't string them along far enough, but... The fact that it'll switch what, like, angle the right angle does is kind of annoying as well. I mean, I guess no one can get to without touching that dynamite, so they'll set it off if they even look at it, so... Actually, wouldn't it be funny if I could just double in case these pop this for me all right Neato. How far out can we put one of these? Very. Starting to hit like a critical mass, I think. At this point, it might just be a matter of time before we get so overzealous that like somebody will cause the world to flood. That was a waste of uh, some gold. Cool. I guess I can just leave that, right? You know, it really betrays how large of an area you need. Can we get these guys over there? They don't appear to be too bothered with him, honestly. Is a new like FOB. Ah, well, okay, that's why you shouldn't do that. 
I, that's fine. Lesson learned, loud and clear. Let them hit level three. I don't think it needs to be that high. Okay. Nice. Oh god. Shit. one but this guy's level two so like who cares <sighs> a little panic moment there because I clicked out of the window why would I want I need the water guys the water is more important I don't care that the treasure cave happened Slap that down. All right, newborn baby dwarf. You're about to get it. Level five. Well, I got a few of those. The next guy, yep, yeah, there you go. Dude. Oh my god. This is so stupid. What the enemy minions is that there's only so much that they can actually do. Now I have so many guys that like they're all just going to keep digging so much so fast that like it's hard for me to run myself out of money. Now please. Does that not count? Do we need to do there as well? Because I will.
Sorry, I realize I'm not talking, but like, on the one hand, what is there to say? On the other hand, I'm focusing in so hardcore. You don't even know. I want I hope on that one water cave I haven't missed like an edge. That'll just ruin my day, you know? Because I have been going like diagonally on some of the... Where's the... Really, dude? How dare you? I'm the overseer. There we go. Water, what do you mean? <sighs> okay. There's some goodies over here, by the way, if you want to get to them. Or... That's fine. Like... Maybe I'm rearranging the deck tears on the Titanic here, but like, I think this game might need a better camera. Because you can only zoom out this far. Which, really, not that far. Um... And there's a whole bunch of other things that you need to see. And unless I've missed it, you can't, like, hotkey swap between your bases. Now, granted, this is a decade-old indie game I'm bitching about here. Uh, specifically one that came out and has not enjoyed regular updates, like some indie games. Um... So, you know, no one's been working on it. Right here. Oh my god, it's such a big fucking cave. Okay, so I got a, I got an alert for water. And then it was like... God, I'm out of fucking money. I got an alert for water, and then it gave me a reward for cave trapping, so... I think I'm in the clear there. I'm gonna turn off some of these, I think. That one isn't even on. Oh, for God's sakes. So I didn't have enough problems. Go that way. Can you blow this up before time? Might be able to. Oh, it's gonna be close. Hit it. There you go. I wouldn't god damn you idiots up to now. I gotcha, but I'll be with you in a second. Whoa, you get one for every warrior? I've just realized I've probably left something training a warrior when I'm not supposed to. Oh, that's fine then. Who cares? It feels good to just cordon off a huge cave like this. Yeah, none of this is getting out. I've never 
really felt too threatened by shamans. Maybe it's because I haven't played on hard difficulty, but... Cave trap. Let's see if I can't find that thing that's... Can you actually pop this, sir? There we go. Okay, one less thing to worry about. What are you guys up to? They are, in fact, still being trained. Don't really need to be, though. Wow. I didn't anticipate this to happen, but uh, I've filled up an hour of recording without even trying, so I guess I'm going to pause this recording. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Dwarves. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, it's endless mode. Oh, God. Just pause it. Oh, I had missed one. Okay, cool. Anyway, dwarves, it's the end. Thank you for coming. Uh, have a nice day. I'll probably record one more, but that'll be the last one. See ya.